welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and today we're going to be unboxing a Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly box. This one is, after shipping I pay about $65 a month, well per box which is every other month. I'm going to be honest, I've already unboxed this because when I received it, I was already, I was in the midst of being sick and I was sick for about three weeks. So I just wasn't feeling up to filming it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, show you what I got and, you know, let you see for yourself so that you know if this might be a box that you would like. So this box was themed Otherworldly Beasts and Arithmancy. This one came with 13 items in it. First thing I'm going to show you is the item most people are almost ready to kill for out of this box. I did already put it on a book. It is the one of a kind book cover that you can only get in this box. This is made by Danny with Wizardry Workshop is what it's called. He used to be called um, Muggle Muggle Magic or something like that. These are designed to fit the U.S. first editions, but I have discovered first edition is not really important as long as it's one of the ones that was the same size. There are very few hardbacks that are a different size, I do believe. So I honestly found my books, my uh, copies on Mercari for like 10 bucks a piece rather than paying the outrageous prices that you have to pay most places for them now. Anyway, next item I'm going to show you is the Arithmancy Study Guide and Information Sheet. I'm going to be honest, this has me mildly confused. I know nothing about this kind of stuff, so something I'm going to have to look into a little bit further. But it's definitely interesting. Next item, tree lice. And then there's a tree seal on the top. It says, tree lice look like grains of brown rice and generally are found in a tree with wood that would be exceptional for wand making. I wonder if that's a rule or if it's just they notice that because they're looking for wood for wand making. I don't know, but I think it's a cute item. I mean, yes, it is obviously just brown rice in a jar, but it's, it's the thought, it's the magic behind it. I love it. Next item is a Thestral paperweight. Of course, due to copyright, they cannot use the word Thestral. So they called it a skeletal horse paperweight. I love the way they always package everything in these nice plastic containers so that they're not going to get, you know, scratched up or damaged or anything in shipping. Absolutely love that. Then we've got two otherworldly, otherworldly beast infograms. We've got the Akami. I'm going to take this out of the plastic for a second, actually, so that you can actually see it because I'm sure there's a glare with this plastic. <clears throat> so we've got the Akami. Love that drawing and it's just got um, information about how it shrinks or grows to the space it can inhabit. Um, pure silver eggshells. You know, just all the basic information on it. And then the next one is a hybrid, hybrid of manticore and fire crab. This thing looks freaking amazing. I'm 
Like to me, it looks like a fat scorpion or something. I don't know why, but this thing is just so funny looking to me. Appears to have no eyes, mouth, or ears at first glance. Very ex aggressive, especially in adulthood. There's a couple of different variations that it's showing. So very interesting. I'm actually making a uh, scrapbook with all my paper replicas and information sheets and stuff like that. So those are going to be amazing in that. I will definitely have to show you guys when I'm done with it. we have got a Niffler, um, a Niffler wood print. So it is actually printed on, on wood, which I think is very interesting. I've never really understood the point of printing something on wood this thin, but it gives it a nice look that I didn't expect. So. We will roll with it. Next up, coming in this nice little red pouch is a nine-sided arithmancy dice. You get to roll it once a day and the numbers correlate with these traits on this page here and you may have one reroll daily use it wisely so that's a i have thought about doing it a couple of times just to see but when i'm not really leaving the house there was no real point i guess anyway next up today's lesson pen this one is really cool it's um so you see the moon and the sky through tree silhouettes and then this one slides to re uh, reveal some acromantulas um, werewolf thestral and hippogriff so that is really cool i love their pins i know they had a uh, their herbology pin was a flip pin and it flipped up it was the greenhouse and it flipped up to show you all the plants. So that was really cool. They have, they just think they're, they just think their pins out so, so well. And I mean, I'm not normally a huge fan of pins, but I really like these ones. Then we got a, what'd they call this? Notebook for otherworldly creatures. It's got an owl charm. And a key that looks like a seahorse. Or probably supposed to represent a Kelpie in all honesty. That's got an RH. I'm going to guess that's for Rubius Hagrid. And on the inside. It's just got blank pages. Good for writing or drawing pictures of the creatures. Oh, my camera stopped filming part way through. So I'm gonna try to pick up where I left off and hopefully I'll get everything in here. The last item it was filming, I think, was the negative energy read diffuser in lemon and vanilla. There were different words that you could get on the front here. Um, but they're all going to be lemon vanilla scented. Uh, the bottle is what's actually colored there. But I think that just makes it look absolutely amazing personally. I couldn't smell up until a couple of days ago, so I have not opened it to smell it. But lemon and vanilla is usually one of those smells that go really well together. So no complaints there. Next up was my absolute favorite item in the box. The flesh eating slug repellent that Hagrid goes to Diagon Alley to try to find when he find no, he goes to Nocturne Alley to try to find, and that's when he finds Harry there because he said Diagon Alley instead of Diagon Alley to travel by flu powder. And this is the one, the, act, the, uh, the pump actually pumps. So that is just freaking adorable. I love it. 
one of my favorite things. This is such a creative and unique product. I just absolutely freaking love it. And then the last product in a nice little, whoop, nice little gold bag is Leprechaun Gold. Not really sure how it fits into the theme of this box, but it's cute. Um, I've got little Niffler, uh, the baby Niffler squishies from the Loot Crate box that I always have them doing crazy stuff with the gold packaging or like gold coins and stuff. So always fun. Sorry about the background noise. My cat is losing his marbles over a fly in the window. My cats aren't very smart sometimes. Love them, but they're dorky. But I do believe that is everything. I think I've showed you everything in the box now. Um, scale of 1 to 10, good 9.5. The only thing I wasn't super thrilled about was the arithmetic information sheet. I just think arithmetic is a really hard... It's a hard class to try to put into a box like this. But I think they did really good given what they had to work with. So... That's all I've got for you today. If there's anything you think should have been in this box instead or anything that you weren't really thrilled about or what your favorite product, go ahead and uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And I will do my best to get back to all of you. I am still recovering from being sick, so things might take me a little longer than usual. But I'm just so excited to be back and, you know, talking to you guys. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.